Hello and welcome to Just Board, the show about computers, microcontrollers, and more. Today we'll take a look at the Asus Tinker Board. This is a single board computer running a rock chip RK3288, which packs a 32-bit quad-core ARM processor that clocks in at 1.8 gigahertz, which is actually pretty impressive for a single board computer. The GPU is a Mali T760 with a clock speed of 600 megahertz. For memory, there's two gigabytes of low-power DDR3 SD RAM. For storage, there's a micro SD slot. And if you get the Model S board, it comes with 16 gigabytes of onboard eMMC. Plus, there are four USB 2.0 ports that you could connect a flash stick or external hard drive to. Network options on the board include a gigabit Ethernet port, yay, as well as built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. For media support, there's HDMI output, a 3.5 millimeter combined audio and headphone jack, a CSI camera connector, and a DSI display connector. The board can be powered using the micro USB port on the side. This is the safest option. Option. But if you have a regulated 5 volt power supply, you can also power the board by connecting positive to pin 2 and negative to one of the ground pins. As always, be careful with this method because it's easy to damage a board like this if your power supply isn't stable. There are a total of 40 pins on this conveniently color-coded expansion header on the top of the board. The layout of these is designed to match the Raspberry Pi Model B layout, and since I've already covered the Pi 3, I won't bother to repeat those here. There's a link in the description to that video if you're interested. The two best supported operating systems for the board are Debian and Android based. There are others out there that will work, but these two seem the most stable. And as with most single board computers, it's as easy as flashing an SD card and powering the board on to get things running. So what's it for? This is a well-designed board, and I can't think of a better way to describe it than a Raspberry Pi 3 on steroids. I've been trying to avoid making making too many comparisons in these videos, but everything about this board was designed to be compatible with the Pi, except with a faster CPU, faster GPU, faster Ethernet, and twice the memory. The Ethernet also isn't shared with the USB bus like it is on the Pi, so the network performance is really good. This makes the Tinker board ideal for things like streaming and running servers. Since the GPIO layout is the same, it also works with most Raspberry Pi add-on boards, so it's a bit more expensive than a Pi, but it's also a lot more capable, especially for networking purposes. What isn't it for? The downside to being a less popular board than the Pi is that the software support isn't always there. Projects like RetroPi haven't spent enough time getting things to work on this board, and not all peripherals out there will work either. It's a shame that the board doesn't have USB 3 because it can push data over the network really quickly, but without a fast way to access large amounts of stored data, it's missing out on the potential for being a NAS device. But still, it's spot on for moving data and has decent graphics capabilities, so it works great as a media device streaming from your network to your TV. Well, that's the ASUS Tinkerboard. To see a demo of this board in action, click through to the video on the left. Don't forget to go to the comments below and let me know what board you'd like to see covered next.